Hello, today's devotional can be found on the topical guide under the word enter. They should not enter into my rest. Okay, so the Lord is very clear about who can and who cannot enter into his rest when that time comes. He loves everybody. He wants everybody to come home to him because we all came from him, but that's not going to happen simply because people will not have chosen to come back. We cannot <clears throat> expect the Lord to take mercy on us if we live nothing but wicked lives and do nothing to fortify our value nor do anything to prepare for a good eternal rest. And if we mock God especially, if we burden ourselves with all these sins, give in to our weaknesses whenever we have a chance and we don't see the need to repent and apologize and do better and utilize the atonement why is the lord going to let us have an eternal rest well he's not simply because we will have chosen our path and he cannot grant us something that we did not prepare for this life is the time to prepare to meet god and if we do not put the preparation in at our best effort, how are we going to understand what's going on in the next life? And how are we going to be able to enjoy it? We're not. Simply because we will not have done what needs to be done. The Lord gives us opportunities now to prepare for the next life. And if we don't take those opportunities seriously, we're not going to have any glimpses of joy that we could have in the next life, nor are we going to understand that we are valuable enough to have that inheritance, but we have to prepare for it. Because why would we be given something that we haven't prepared to enjoy or understand? We're not going to be given that. The Lord wants us to have joy, but he gives us opportunities while well, we're here on the earth that we might be able to understand smaller joys and embrace smaller joys and do good things with smaller joys. And he also teaches us to appreciate trials that we might find strength and a reason to be joyful even in those moments. We cannot be afraid to do things now that we might be able to enter into the Lord's rest when the time comes. We cannot afford to slack off. We cannot afford to be lazy. When we sin, we need to take care of it right away. But you know, it's our choice, but choice of consequences, and we will have to face that, whether we believe it or not. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.